Okay, everyone, we're back with the Shark Vertex Cordless Stick Vac. We're going to be using this machine to clean the upstairs today. There's a piece of paper there, a few things that fell there, some kitty litter around the litter box like always, the usual dirt, some bits of pet hair here and there. But as I said, pretty usual what's normally up here. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, let's turn on the shark. Normal power with carpet mode, which means the brush roll on high. <clears throat> Look at that. Let's see how much is left. Not much. Hey, listen to that. Walking through here is kind of like walking on a sand castle. Because of how much litter is here. See it as it spins through the brush roll. It has no trouble at all with this. Another thing with not having a trigger is I can hold it like this with two fingers, which is more comfortable. Let's see how well it deals with this thing. Yeah. That got stuck. Alright, so I'm going to remove that. Give me a second. All right, so I removed that. It got stuck under the brush roll. I shouldn't have a problem with this piece of paper here. Yeah, like I said. But that was a piece of plastic. And I expected it to not like that. Multi-flex time. But it's still really incredible right there. Transitions floor types with ease. You move right over to the carpet, the main carpet, right off of that rug without having to switch any settings, touch any knobs or buttons or anything. It's just so easy. Another piece of paper, shouldn't have a problem with that. Like I said, let's go between here. Fits between here with ease. See all the dirt and hair starting to build up.
dirt got kicked onto the brush roll right here somehow. There's actually several pieces of dirt up on top of here. There, most of them are off now. Let's continue. What I was thinking is that if they're on there, I might get tracked across the floor. Still three uh, bars, so bar. Still keep finding pieces of shredded paper, even though I haven't used the paper shredder in weeks. <laughs> Pulls that stuff in from the edges. Hunt does not like to push on there. Pull in that piece of fuzz. Don't see anything behind the door. So we can go right back onto the main carpet. See if we can clean the high pile rug in here. This rug. The uh, enemy of many a vacuum. <laughs> well, clearly doesn't have any problem with it all. It glides right across the carpet without changing any suction setting. Even on max, it has no problem being pushed. Let's see if we can pull this piece of dirt in. Yep, got it. Get okay, awesome. Clean this area carpet here. See if we can pull in whatever that is. First pass, no. Second pass, yes. That's just a speck on the carpet. Finish up the high pile rug now. So that looks good. We're gonna move rooms and I'll be back in just a second. All right, we got the Vertex cordless. Let's finish this uh, bedroom here. This will be our last place we're gonna clean. Grooms well for a cordless. Well, she grooms well in general for any vacuum.
four type transition. So easy. I would demonstrate the multiflex under this, but I just cleaned it like a week ago, so not worth using. We already demonstrated the multiflex earlier and it went very well. As you saw, I was able to go underneath that area that the cats hang out a lot, clean up all the hair and dirt that was in there. You can still go under stuff without the multiplex, of course. Something right here. Of course, get that with ease. And that's everything. That did a superb job. I will be right back. I'm gonna check the filter, the bin, and the brush roll. Stay tuned. Okay, so it's time to check the bin. And as you can see, it's full. Let's click the release button and see just how full it is. <laughs> yeah, the cyclone. It's getting dirty. Probably because we overfilled it. Like, a lot. Oops. See, there's the entrance right there, and dirt's stuck in there. We overfilled the bin a little bit. Whoopsie. Let's see what the filters look like. Top of the filter's clean. <sighs> Not that bad. Just don't overfill it like I did by accident. That's not too bad. That should go a while without needing to be cleaned. Like, still clean it according to the instructions, of course. That's how you should do it and how you keep your warranty. The postmodern filter, we're not even gonna bother checking it. We know it's clean because it's a brushless motor. So let's check the brush roll. So, one hair, wrapped up a little bit, a tiny bit of pet hair here. Let's eject the duo clean. See if there's anything stuck behind it. Nope. Clean. What that is, I'm not sure. A bit of hair stuck right there. Sorry, right here and right here, but I'll pick that out with tweezers. Overall, that's doing a really good job, I must say. Like a really good job. I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. I think there's a way to remove something by clicking these tabs. Not sure what it would be, but 
Oh, it's the hose. When you go like this, I bet. Yep, that's to check for clogs. That's cool. All right, so that's good. So let me know what you think about this. This shark did a very good job. And uh, yeah, I will catch you next time with the next video. Goodbye, everyone.